Dennis Buckley acquired this jet boat 10 years ago when he bought it at an auction. When they started bidding and it was almost ending at such a silly low price, I thought, oh, that must be worth buying. And that's how I ended up with it. The boat's been sitting in his backyard since then, and it hasn't been touched. Well, this is the back garden, if you can call it a garden. And it joins a long list of projects that Dennis has, over the years, accumulated. Uh, this needs more restoring than the boat. 1971 Rolls-Royce Silver Shadow. I bought this bus with the intention of making a motorhome out of it. Toyota Supra, 3 litre, 24 valve. Only wants a clutch. Dennis, surprisingly enough, is a mechanic, but he also owns a second-hand shop, specialising in house clearances. There's just about everything in here. It's like Aladdin's cave. And he's also the proud owner of Doncaster's only rodeo bull. Terry. So, with a young family in tow and a quick fix-it attitude, Dennis is the man who can. And renovating this boat has become his main summer priority. I will not fail. Good shot. Oh. And he's hoping to complete the project for little or no money. To all the people that might have to go to a scrapyard, but I practically live in a scrapyard. Which means some pretty bold design decisions. For the interior, I've got in mind some Saab 9000 seats, nice black leather ones. And with all his own tools, improvising is what Dennis is all about. I'm so confident that I know what I'm doing when I do it, but I don't have that fear at all. So can Dennis find, fix, scrimp and save his way through this project and still have something to show at the end of it all? Think or swim. Dennis invited me up to Stainforth in Yorkshire where he runs his garage and shop and I was looking forward to finding out more about this obscure little boat. Ah. Hello. Is it Dennis? It is. Oh, God, I found you. I'm Tom. Hello. I've come about the boat. Right, this way, please. Aye. It was immediately obvious to me that Dennis was a man that wasn't bothered by clutter and was a fully paid-up member of the Waste Not, Want Not Club. Yeah, a bikes. Computer desks. Dog beds. Oh, caravan cushions. Those. Margany doors. And boat. Boat, eventually. Boat. There, my goodness me. Well, you've a job on here, Dennis. Yes, it's quite a job. The boat doesn't have a name or any obvious markings, which means, at the moment, her history is totally untraceable. What I know about jet boats is uh, you can pay five pounds for a ride on one at Bridlington. Right. Yeah, well, I didn't know that much, but I'll tell you what I know about them. They're great in shallow water because they don't have a propeller sticking out the bottom. And as I understand it, they're a pretty efficient way of converting that into that to make the thing go. Dennis paid £250 for the boat, which included the trailer, and he intends to spend no more than that to get her back on the water. Well, the hull, although it's incredibly tatty, looks quite legitimate, doesn't it? It looks like Very it's a proper solid. boat. Yes. And it's got proper engine bearers and things yes. here, so I think we've got some, some hope that uh, it is a proper boat. Dennis's main problem is going to be restoring the engine and making sure it works in tandem with the jet unit. Well, one of the main people who do these units, or do jet units, are a firm called Hamilton New Zealand, who say that they invented it. And they've certainly built a lot of them. They actually build boats as well. And I'm yes. wondering whether possibly this is one of their boats that's got over here. I mean, they do export them all over the place. Jet boats are powered by an inboard engine and propelled through water by the action of a jet pump. The jet pump draws in water, then forces it out through the steerable nozzle that controls the direction of the boat. It all sounds fairly simple, but with the condition of the boat, it's difficult to tell how badly damaged the working components are. Tell you what, if you've got a nice sack, I wouldn't mind some of this leaf mould for my roses. <laughs> <laughs> and the first thing on the list is the slightly strange engine setup. Well, hang on a minute, Dennis. 
What is it doing with this radiator on the front? I mean, this is a boat. You can't cool a marine engine with a radiator because a radiator relies on airflow, as you and I both know. And um, you don't get any airflow in a boat. What you get is water flow. That's so right. they cool the engines by pulling water in from the sea and pumping it around the engine and shooting it out the back. And while they're shooting it out the back, they shoot it through the exhaust, which cools the exhaust and does a proper job for everybody. A previous owner attached a fan-driven radiator to the engine, and this could be a clue as to why the current configuration of the boat is so unusual. There's two ways of cooling a, a marine engine. One way is to use the existing cooling system of the engine, but instead of sending it through that to cool it in the radiator, you send it through a heat exchanger, and the heat exchanger is cooled by river or seawater that's pulled in pumped round by one of these rubber impeller pumps I was talking yes. about and shot back over the side via the exhaust. The problem that Dennis has is that this engine has only been partially marinised. The exhaust manifolds have their own separate cooling system, but the engine, like a normal car engine, is using the radiator driven by a fan. Well, someone put an electric fan on thinking that would do the job. That is weird. Mm. Somebody didn't understand at all. I but wonder the, why. It might cool the engine, but it wouldn't cool the exhaust gases. It would be great if we could find out who'd built the boat and what the power was originally intended to be. I mean, no. are you wedded to this engine? No, This particular no, unit? If I could put a turbo diesel in, I'd be quite happy with that. I'd love that. That'd be great. It'd be cheap to run as well. Yeah, it would. So Dennis has a lot to think about. Will he use this engine or find another from his yard? And how will he construct the cooling system? And he still has to find out who made the jet unit. So what about the steering, Dennis? I mean, is, is that working? Last time I tried it, it was. Would you like to... Shall I give it a go? Try it, yes. Because we've got a few dilemmas there, but it'd be nice to find... Some so as you turn right that, with. this unit should go side to side. All right, here we go. I'm turning it to starboard now. Yes, it's working. Yeah, I'll go the other way. It's in reverse at the moment. Is it? Try put it in forward gear, it'll lift this. All right. Here I go. Play it up. Are you ready? Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's smooth as a kiss. Oh, we've got a plate on top of here. No. Have we? Yes. Oh, let's have a look. What a discovery. <laughs> Made in Sheffield. No. Yes. Just down the road. Mm. Can you read the model number? Will you be able to, anyway? It's Pat Pending. And it's how to whack it race, is this. Have we got a, a model, model number? number? They've not put one in. Oh, nice. Serial number. It must... I wonder if this is just sort of an experimental unit. Well, because we can look them up, can't we? Patent's pending. Yeah. I They've wonder. not even finished designing it. I wonder. Water outlet. Yeah, and there's a pipe here, look. That's bringing water out, this jet. I bet that takes it in to cool that I engine. I bet that's it. So if yeah. that's it, and that's going to cool the engine, maybe that's, as you say, the inlet for the engine cooling. So on closer inspection, it looks as though the engine could be cooled via the jet unit, and at least Dennis has now got a company name for the unit. Well, we've had a look at the guts. We've got a few unanswered questions here, but we are making progress. What about the... Uh, how are you proposing to, as it were, furnish the interior? I mean, this whole floorboard set up here is just rubbish, isn't it? This Terrible. Is, it looks like a bit of shuttering ply. It's not up to the standard of the actual build of the boat. So it's probably got nothing to do with the guys who built it. And at least it's readily repairable or removable. Sorry, not repairable. Throw awayable. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's really quite well built, isn't she? As a run-around boat, Dennis doesn't seem over-fussed about the cosmetics. When I got this, there was just one seat rotting away. Yeah. And I was thinking, two seats, and it would be nice if we could have actually had another row of seats. Are yeah. they going to be low enough, do you think? Because you've got to be very low down in this boat. Why don't we have a little sit down and sort of mock it up, see how it feels? I think I'm going to sit on this very fine seat here. Is there anything you can use? Well, this boat's fitted with everything, including the <laughs> kitchen sink. Perfect. Oh. Just sit down. And you don't want to get that in the wrong place. There. Oh, your eyes are watering. Well, so far, Dennis, um, if you're not daunted by the general state of things, which I've got to say I would be, but I can see that you're a man who doesn't quit easily. No problem. Um, then you reckon you can get a result? Definitely. This project is all about the mechanics of propulsion, and as a mechanic, Dennis has a great chance of making it happen, if he can get the engine working.
Whenever I hear voting reported on the television or in the newspapers, there's always some clown wants to tell us about how it's for the privileged few, the man with a silver spoon in his mouth. Well, I reckon we just blew that into outer space, don't you? You couldn't get a more ordinary guy than Dennis. But is he ordinary? Actually, I think he's totally extraordinary. When you look at what he's done and what he does, how often do you meet a man like that? <laughs> Take it to a canal and drown old fishermen. Oh, I'd love to fly down canal, just waves over the banks. I wish him well. I don't know what I'm going to find in two months' time, but I can't wait to see. As the spring showers make life more difficult for Dennis, work on the boat is going to get tougher, especially as things are stacking up in the yard. There are one, two, three, four vehicles to move to get this boat in here. And with more holes in the roof of the house than the boat, Dennis has got his hands full. But help is at hand. Dennis has managed to trace down the designer of the jet unit. Yeah, that's one of our jet units, all right. And there's a surprise in store with the engine. Just remove that rotor. But is time running out for Dennis? Time often runs out with me. I often leave things till I've got to do it. 